We're learning about the woman who was behind the wheel of that SUV that crashed into the Potomac River Sunday night. Her name was Barbara Bushkin. She was a mother, a wife, and a philanthropist. Her husband, Arthur Bushkin, called her his lifelong Valentine. That's because it took 50 years after the two first met to get married. Here's Janice Park with their story. For a moment, Arthur Bushkin's voice quivers. I don't know if I can't. Thinking about the decades he spent writing poetry for his lifelong love, Barbara. Wise is he who troubles not, alone with patience waits. And that's how I live my life, waiting for Barbara. Arthur and Barbara met in high school when they were only 14 and 17 and immediately became best friends. They would marry other people and live separate lives. She has a real estate agent and he is a tech CEO, but both of them always thinking of each other. Oh, I searched for years um, and she searched for me. Five decades would roll by, and both of them were single. Arthur finally tracked her down through the Internet. And in 2011, they married. They documented their love story in a book, vowing to each other to do a kind act every day. Living in Vienna, Virginia, they focused on giving to others, starting foundations, clinics, and supporting education programs. They did it together with love. Barbara was a smile. And people would meet her and, and tell their history to her. You've done for others that matters in your life. Their unlikely love story took another turn Sunday night. I don't know what happened, but I, you know, I hope she didn't suffer. After leaving a charity event, Barbara was parked at Roosevelt Island when witnesses say her SUV rolled into the Potomac River. Bushkin is not sure if she fell asleep or had a medical emergency, but late Monday night, her body was pulled from the SUV. Bushkin says despite the pain, he will continue to smile because that's what Barbara would have wanted. Janice Park, WUSA 9. And in a very touching Facebook post, he said one of the things he would love for folks to do in Barbara's honor is to do something kind for someone else. D.C. police say they are still investigating Bushkin's death and they're still looking to find out what exactly happened.